How's it going y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So about a year ago, almost every video that I posted had something to do with a gun. Um, and I had a lot of people subscribe to my channel because of that. So I thought today I would make a video to kind of satisfy you all that might not have an interest in bow hunting or hunting in general or whatever. They're just, you know, guys that like guns. So that's what we're going to do today. This video is going to be pretty much your standard show and tell. Um, got a new gun recently and Honestly, I haven't got to use it a whole lot. I got a new job as well, and so I've just not had a ton of time to go out and shoot the thing. So honestly, I haven't carried it a lot. I mean, I've, I've carried it some just to kind of see how it is, but I don't like to carry a gun a ton unless I've put quite a few rounds through it, um, which, I mean, makes sense to most of you all. I'm sure you get it, but I just haven't had a chance to hit the range with it much. I mean, I probably don't have maybe 60 rounds through this thing. So at that point, you know, I just don't trust it enough to carry it every day. Um, with that being said, if you all would like to see my current EDC, because jobs change and stuff and, you know, things change. So EDCs, they change. What I'm carrying right now is not what I was carrying at all, um, you know, even a few months ago. So if you want to see that video, let me know in the comment section. I'd be happy to make it. And, you know, truth be told, I'm probably going to make it anyway. About... A I mean, a year and a half ago, I carried this Glock 43, I mean, daily for just about everything. It's an awesome gun. It's always shot really well. I've never had a malfunction with it. I mean, I've shot quite a few rounds through it. Not as much as my CZs, but I mean, I've probably got, you know, a couple thousand rounds through this thing. Yeah, I'd say I do. 1,500 to 2,000 anyway. Never had a malfunction. Uh, it's always been super accurate. The trigger's not terrible. I did put that extension from Barracuda Tactical on there, and that really helped because it helped me get my pinky on there and, and kind of make that feel completely full. I stippled it. Always liked this gun. But then I went through that whole CZ phase where I was just shooting P10Cs all the time. I got rid of so many guns because I'm just like, this P10 is so much better than than anything that Glock has ever made. And I still believe that's true. In fact, I know it's true. But in all seriousness, Glock is an amazing company and I've always liked their products. So I thought, you know what? Maybe it's time to get another Glock. Enter the Glock 43X. Yep. I done went and done it. Got myself a 43X. To be honest, I actually really like it. I've seen a lot of like people kind of hating on it, which they always hate on the new stuff. That's just pretty standard across the board, especially when it comes to Glock. When Glock comes out with something new, people hate on it. That's just the way it is. But I think that there's some really good stuff on this thing. You know, it comes with the front slide serrations, and I think that's that's a great addition. Uh, for a gun that doesn't really cost that much more than the regular 43, you got a higher capacity, you got a little bit longer grip, so I don't need that extension. Um, I think that all in all, it's it's a really good option. Truthfully, it doesn't feel that thick to me. A lot of people say that it's close to 19. In my hand, it feels closer to 43 than it does a 19, and that's just me being honest. I mean. I will do some some spec videos and stuff, and I want to give you the lowdown on this gun by itself. Today, I'm just kind of just telling you, you know, what I've done and my thoughts behind it. But whenever you pick this thing up, like it feels like a small gun. I, I really enjoy it. And what I've seen so far out of it, it shoots like any other Glock. It shoots really good. Um, trigger feels about the same. The only thing I will say I don't like about it is the slide. As far as I know, that's the only option you have on the slides from as far as buying new. That silver, I've just never really been a fan of it. Um, but, you know, that can be fixed very easily. Honestly, I don't know if I'll keep this thing. I just thought it was cool and I just wanted to try it out for a little bit and kind of give you all some my thoughts on it. And honestly, my thoughts are it's a pretty good option. I think I give maybe 500, yeah. It's been a little bit of time, but yeah, I think $500 is what I gave for it. So, not bad. It fits in all my uh, Glock 43 holsters. So that's good. This is an outside the waistband holster from uh, Bravo Concealment. Uh, it's for a 43X, fits it good. My 43 fits good. So it's nice to have the same holster work for a couple different guns. And also I'll probably do a review on this. I, I reviewed a Bravo company holster like, I don't know, a year and a half ago. 
And if you remember that video, I was not too impressed with it. It was a, it was a concealed holster, like an inside the waistband. Wasn't happy with it, to be honest. It's still, you know, not bad for what you pay, but it, it was just not, not up to what I want. This one here is different though. This one's pretty nice and I'll probably do a video on that. So be on the lookout for that video. Nothing uh, spec wise today. I don't want to bore you with that. Just uh, letting you know, I got a new gun and it's not a CZ. It is a 43X and you know, I'm excited to tell you a little bit about it. We'll do some shooting with it and see what we think about it. So if the 43X is something that interests you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit like if you like this video. Let me know in the comment section if you've fired the 43X or if you've held it in your hands because a lot of people have differing opinions. It seems like uh, some hate it, some love it, I don't know. I kind of like it, but you know, what do y'all think? Y'all be on the lookout for the next video. Till next time, y'all be safe.